What's new on GoodTask version 5.1? Hello everyone, I'm Hanbam Kim from GoodTask. I'd like to explain the details of version 5.1 update on this video. Biggest change on this update is this all new task detail page. Previously, there was three separate pages, which you swipe left and right to manage. This has been integrated to one beautiful page that you can look and manage at once. Below the title is Notes field. You can easily type in more details of the task. All edits for title, notes, and subtasks are now done in line to let you keep on track of the task while editing. Task details are shown below notes. You can tap buttons to add or edit them. The buttons are due date, alert, auto snooze, repeat, end repeat, and location. Start date will appear if it's set to be used in the settings. Completed tasks will have completed date button. Quick actions are now shown horizontally. You can set how many rows you want to see inside settings, general page. You can choose between 1 to 5. Quick actions will be shown identically on all the places with horizontal scrolling so it'll be more precise to figure out where things are. Subtasks are basically the same. Tapping this circle button will show hide completed subtasks and this clipboard button will paste things on your clipboard right into subtasks. Buttons here at bottom left will let you rotate through views. It'll start from the top and move to general, quick actions, subtasks, and the bottom according to where you're at. Next to this rotate button is action button. If you have links, emails, or phone numbers on title and notes field, it'll be shown here. App links and URLs from Reminders app will be shown too. If you have multiple items, you can tap three dot button next to it to select one. There are a couple options related to this button. Inside Settings Advanced, you can choose to select Last Action to be shown. Also, you can choose to ignore phone numbers. You can move between tasks with up and down arrows next to it. On top, there is Focus button which will show Hide General Info row and Quick Actions row. This will let you see and focus on things to be done. Next to it is More button. You can share a task, make a new reminders list, open in Reminders app, and delete task here. Sharing a task will let you share task details through ShareSheet. Making a new reminders list will have title as list title and notes as list memo. Subtasks will be translated as separate tasks on the list. On iPad, you can use slash key to rotate through and use tap key to move between title, notes, and subtasks. You can also tap command right square bracket to change focus. There are a few other new settings. Alert settings for new tasks has been refined to be more obvious. Instead of one option, now you have two separate options. First is add alert when due date is set option. When due date is set, alert will be added according to this option. When you set no time to due date, alert time will be set with the second option, alert time for no timed task. If you don't want alert to be set for no time task, choose no time. A new sort option settings has been added too. You can set settings sort no time last to on and no timed task will be shown at the bottom of timed tasks. New option of due date, relative date is added on task display. You can go into settings, appearance, task display to use this option. This will show due date as n days later rather than exact date. You can use this on special smart lists that you manage to look forward to on specific tasks or events. The changes on Mac version are mostly identical to the iOS version. Right side detail pane has been changed to match the new design. 
Now it's not separated to top and bottom, and it's all integrated in one pane. Separate window pane for quick actions and subtasks has been removed too. Hope you liked the update. More to come, and I hope you use the app well to get things done. See you soon. Thanks.